Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good How evening. are you? Hello, good, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello. Good and you. Very good. Very good. Excellent. We are excellent. Ready for action. How do you feel? Hi. Are you ready for your class? Yeah. How was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? Where did you go? Who did you see? What did you see? Well, we stay in home. Right. I stayed in home too. All right. Well, all right. Good. What did you do at home? What do you do for entertainment? Uh, uh, reading and sleeping. <laughs> all right. Cool. Cool. Reading and sleeping. That's nice. Hey, Raul. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Hey, Welcome back. hey Saul. I see some familiar faces. I see a Hi. lot. I see a lot. Hey, good evening, Wendy. Welcome back. I see Hi, many. Hi. Hi. Good evening. I see many familiar faces in this group. All right, guys. Welcome back. I hope that all of you had an awesome weekend and that everybody is ready for your classes. Who can tell me what information do you remember from the previous class? What information do you remember from your previous class? What can you tell me? What do you remember? All right, go ahead. Uh, Isabo and then uh, Fernando. I remember, I, I remember the using for the going to. All right, going to. Can you give me an example of why or in what situation we use going to? For what? Um, I'm going to a study in, in the night. At the night. Okay, very good. I'm going to study at night. Excellent. I'm going to study at night. Good job. Another example. Yes, Ruth. Um, about the biggest and the best. All right. So you were talking about the biggest and the best, the superlatives. Good, good, good. Another volunteer that can tell me what you remember from the previous class. I remember something about the present perfect. Okay, can you give me an example of the present perfect? I have studied for studied for six hours. Excellent. I have studied for six hours. Good, present perfect. All right. Uh, I would like for us to do some questions, introduction questions, just to break the ice and get to know uh, everybody a little bit. So we're going to do some questions. What are some typical questions you ask somebody new? For example, you say, hi, how are you? What's another question? What is your name? Okay, good. What's your name? What's your name? Perfect. Another question. Where do you live? Where do you live? What's another question? What did you do? What do you do? What do you do? Right. Another question? Where yes, Wendy. From? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are <laughs> you from? Good, good. Where are you from? Where do you live? Where do you work? Where do you work? Sorry, Pete. Where are you going? 
where are you going? Okay, where are you going? Good job, good job. So, oh, another question. What is your address? Okay, what's your address? Very good. Another one. What's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? What's How another? old are you? How old are you, Ruth? How old? Uh, what's your favorite uh, favorite uh, color? What's your favorite color? Good, good. Another one. Where are you going? Who is your favorite soccer player? Okay. Favorite soccer player. Or what is what is your favorite soccer team? Okay. Is your... Which one? Yes, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Raul? What's your favorite hobby? Okay, what's your favorite hobby? Excellent. Another one? What's your email address? What's your email address? Excellent. Another when one? You, your day. When is your birthday? Do you have children? Okay. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Good, good. Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh, where do you work? Esa ya está ahí. Uh, podemos decir, what kind of movies do you like? What kind of movies do you like? Oh, why are you studying English? Good. Another example? Another example? Do you cook? Do you cook? Do you like your hobbies? Okay. What? What are your hobbies? Good. Yes, so do you like sports? Do you like sports? Good job. Huh? Another one? Can you drive? Can you drive? What's another one? Do you work out? Do you work out? What's another one? How often do you work out? All right, what's another Do one? You drink coffee. Do you drink coffee, tea, or beer? Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. All right, at this moment, uh, do you have any questions about these questions? Questions about these questions? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, I would like for us to work in pairs, and I would like for you to ask and respond to the questions. I would like Marco and Isabo. Marco, ask the questions. Isabo, respond to the questions. Marco, ask the questions. Isabo, respond to the questions. 
And then vice versa. Isabo asks the questions and Marco respond to the questions. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I okay, put the uh, questions in the WhatsApp group. I put the questions in the WhatsApp group. Present okay. Dorivel. Thank you. Action. Okay. Uh, how are you? Um, very good, and you? I'm very good, too. Um, where do you live? I'm living in Lourdes. Nice. nice. I live in San Marcos. Okay. Uh, where do you work? Uh, I I don't have work. I studying in the university. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> uh, what is what's your favorite food? My favorite food um tacos. Nice, good choice. Um, what is your favorite color? Um, my favorite color is aqua. Nice. Um, let me see. What is your birthday? My birthday is in 24. In September. 24 September. Nice. But you see, what kind of movies do you like? Um, I like um, the horror movie and uh, science fiction. Nice, nice. Have you watched? Have you watched the Exorcism of the Pope? Oh, the let me see, the seventies movie of. No, it's new. It's a new movie. It's called El Exorcismo del Papa, The Exorcism mm -hmm. of the Pope. That's uh, the name. No. Oh, man, that's a crazy movie. I watched it yesterday with Russell Crowe. Yeah, that's the name. Okay. The Exorcism All right. of the Pope. Yeah, it's a... Right. It's a I will see it. it I is, will watch if you like scary movie... This is a scary movie. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I will watch it, teacher. Okay, let me see. Okay, what are you studying English? Um, I'm studying English um, for my my job. I study medicine, and I I want a good a good doctor, and tell. Uh, with other person, that's it. Nice, interesting, interesting. Do you like sports? Yes, I. My favorite sport is basketball. Oh, nice. Okay, let me see. Do you drink coffee, tea, or beer? Uh, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what is your favorite soccer team? Um, my favorite soccer team is the Warriors. Golden State. Uh, Golden State Warriors, Steve yes. Curry. Yes, y Jung Pool también. Yeah. <laughs> I like basketball. I like basketball. Okay, now we're going to change roles. Isabo is going to ask the questions and Marco is going to respond. Okay. Um, Marcos, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, where are you going? Am I going to nowhere? <laughs> okay. Dígale, I'm going to bed, sleep after my class. 
I am going to sleep. <laughs> well, yes, I'm going to sleep after the class. Okay. Mm, where do you live? I live in San Marcos. Okay. Where are you from? El Salvador. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite hobby? I think it's reading and playing the guitar. Okay. What kind of movie do you like? Oof. Well, I like horror movies, trailers, and action movies. I I like uh, maybe action movies. Um, uh, John Wick. One, two, oh, three, four. Oh, I I have heard yeah, that he's a very good. John Wick is awesome. Awesome. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Why are you studying English? I'm studying English to, well, I study English because if I have opportunity to live in other country, I could go there or have a job in other country. Okay. That Can you drive? Excuse me? Can you drive? Uh, why is that? So, sorry, sorry. Yeah, drive uh, can you drive? Drive a car? Ah, yeah. uh, no. Yeah. Drive a car? Ah, uh, no. Can you drive a car? No. Okay. I okay. Uh, how often do you work? Probably rarely. I think once a month. Okay. Excuse me, I, I, I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear you. Do you cook? Eh, Marina, oh, yes. Marina, puede poner su micrófono en silencio. Está saliendo mucha interferencia de su micrófono. Marina, Marina Esmeralda. Okay, thank you, guys. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. Continue. Okay. No problem. Uh, do you cook, Marcos? Yes, yes, I cook. Okay. Um, what is your favorite color? I think is let me see blue, blue um just yes, blue. Okay. Uh, who is your favorite soccer player? Well, I think is Messi. Yes, Messi. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite soccer team? Well, um, let me see. It used to be Barcelona. Barcelona, and I think nowadays it's Manchester City. Okay. Do you drink coffee, tea, or beer? Well, I think tea. Yeah, I I don't like coffee and beer. Near, you're right. Okay. All right, let's stop right there. Thank you, guys. Good job, okay. Marco, and good job, Isabo. All right, guys. Now, what you are going to do is you are going to practice the conversation. Practice the conversations in pairs. Así como Marcos y Isabo se estaban haciendo las preguntas, ustedes van a hacer lo mismo. Voy a activar para que uno pueda compartir la pantalla. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. All yes. right. Yes. I shared the questions in the WhatsApp chat group. Compartí las preguntas en el grupo chat de WhatsApp. Ready, let's go. Tiene que darle el botoncito que dice entrar o join. Entrar o join.
Eh, uno tiene que compartir la pantalla. ¿Quién la va a compartir? Ni Samuel. May someone share the view, please. No funciona, no funciona, Ala. Something. Green chair. Ah, okay. What 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 are going to to share a screen? Was supposed supposed to be already sharing this in the WhatsApp. Oh, I, I, if somebody takes a picture, yes. Mm. Who who is in WhatsApp in this moment? But in what's happened? Because I, 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 I am in my computer. Mm -hmm. Who is with telephone? Okay, uh, only no problem. We we can uh, speak with with question. Uh, who is the first? Say a question and ask something. Okay, I if you want, I'm going to uh, ask the questions and someone well, someone and answer it. Okay. 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 How are you? Hi, how are you? Good, well, thank you. You? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Alex. Raul Alexander Rostan. Nice to meet you, Alex. Where do you live? Well, I live um, in Japan. Department nice. Of <laughs> nice. Let's see. Uh, what do you do? Um, I'm a driver. Nice. nice. Okay. Uh, where are you from? El Salvador. Nice. Where do you work? I work. Uh, for this in a, a store. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going? What again? What was that? Okay. Hey, where, where Where are you going? Are you going? Dígale, I am going to sleep. Hey guys, las preguntas están en el chat del WhatsApp. Allí están las preguntas en el chat del grupo del WhatsApp. Ok, very good. No, Emi, wake up. <laughs> Drink some okay, coffee, what's... no, Emi. <laughs> ok, uh, what's your address? Uh, my address is Aguachapán, Colonia Ciudad de la. Street. <laughs> in Huachapan, do, do you, do you live in Huachapan at this moment? Yeah, I am in, uh, in Huachapan. Very far. Okay. What? Uh, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, the seafood. Nice, nice. 
How old are you? How well, am I? Am I um forty two uh, years old? I am. I am. I am. I am. I, 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 I am forty two years old. I'm sorry, teacher. Okay. Yeah. What's <laughs> What's your favorite color? Um. Arroba. Hong Kong. My address. My email address is master jcm thirty one hotmail.com. Okay. My email address. Uh, decimos punto com or decimos dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Ahí sería dot com. Y eso quiere decir punto com. Punto com. Ajá. Okay. Dot com. My email address is Jacqueline de, de Rivas. Ar, ar, arroba. What do you say, arroba? Arroba is at. At. at gmail.com okay excellent at gmail.com very good good job i like that thank you do you have children yes i have yes. two children i have okay. two me too i have two i have seven um no <laughs> I have seven. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> it's, a joke. it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> okay. Good job, teacher. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Hi, Doribel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Eh, me estaba fallando el inter. Ok, ok. Puede practicar con Juan Carlos, Irma, Wendy y Juan Carlos Cubillas. Ok. Ok. When is your birthday? My birthday is um, for one my... October. For uh, December 40. Um, my birthday is uh, November 5th. Okay, my birthday is in December 20. So one more. Okay, with the other, the other question is, what kind of movies do you like? Mm. I like movie action. Mm -hmm. Me too. I like movies, uh, action movies and romantic movies. Why are you studying English? I study English I am, because I would like to uh, work in the call center. Okay. I am studying English to learn and for my job. The other, other answer? One moment, company. Okay. Como que por ratito se me va la señal. The question is, why are you studying English? Okay. Eh, well, my studying English and working. Okay.
for their answer. Next question. I'll continue with the other question. Do you cook? No. Yes, I love cook with my family. Me too. I I love cook in some occasions. <laughs> not not all the time. I only every day. Okay. Next question. What are your hobbies? My hobby is playing soccer, uh, watching a movie. Uh, I like watch TV and, and listen music. Other answer? Next question. Repeat a question, a question, please. What are your hobbies? My hobbies is a uh, watch TV, play video way, video game, video game with my children, and I study English and free time. Okay. Other answer or continue with the other question? Continue the other question. Okay. Do do you like sports? Yeah. I love yes. soccer. Me too. No, I I like play play soccer. Me too. I like soccer. I like softball or baseball and a little basketball. All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Who wants to volunteer? Who wants to volunteer? Somebody wants to volunteer. Somebody volunteer. To practice the questions. Two volunteers. All right, we have Ruth, raised your hand. Very good, thank you, Ruth. Ruth, you can ask the questions. Okay, teacher. Let me have one more volunteer to respond to the questions. One more volunteer to respond to the questions. You, teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos, respond to the questions. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Hi, your okay. okay. Hi, JC. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you? I'm, I'm fine. And about you? Good. Um, where do you like? Uh, what? Where do you live? I I live in Santa Tecla City. Okay, what do you do? 
Yeah, actually, uh, I am chef. Good. Um, where are you from? I'm from El Salvador. Fine. Where do you work? Uh, I work in, uh, sometimes uh, I work in, in a hotel or in my house. Okay, where are you going? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe, maybe I I will listen the music. Okay. Um, what's your favorite food? My favorite food. Uh, it's Salvadorian. Uh, um uh, and Mexican food. Okay. How old are you? I am 36 years old. Okay, what's your favorite color? It's uh, the blue. Okay, who is your favorite soccer player? I don't have uh, one favorite soccer player. Okay, uh, what is your favorite soccer team? I don't have favorite soccer team. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite hobby? Uh, actually, I I love the dance. Oh, nice. <laughs> what's your... Um, no, no. Do you have children? No, I don't have. Okay, what kind of movie do you like? Uh, I like um, the action and comedy. Okay. Um, why are you studying English? Um, I think it's a goal in my life. Okay. Um, do you cook? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are your hobbies? Uh, yeah, my hobby actually is watch TV and and sometimes I I go to the dance. Okay. Do you like sports? Yes, I like. Okay. Can you drive? Yes, I can. Okay, do you work out? No, I don't. Okay, um, do you drink coffee, tea, or beer? <laughs> yes, that's drink. all. <laughs> that's all, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so teacher. Okay, now we're going to switch the roles. Switch the roles. Okay. Uh, Ruth, uh, where do you live? Uh, I live in San Salvador. What do you do? Um, I do in sales. Sales, okay. Where are you from? Um, I'm from El Salvador. Where do you work? Um... I am, uh, I have a business. Mm. Where are you going? Mm, after the class, uh, I'm going to sleep. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, what's your address? Um... Uh, Residencial Montefresco of Constitution. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite food? I, my favorite food is uh, trims with garlic. Oh. Um, fish. Oof. Um, yeah. Italian food. Italian food. So good. 
Uh, how old are you? I am 40 years old. Wow, you are young. Very young. Very young, yes. <laughs> young woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Black. Who is your favorite soccer player? Um, I don't have. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey. we're gonna we're gonna stop right here, guys, because I need to take the attendance. So, uh, thank you both for your okay. participation. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, okay, guys. Right now, I'm going to take the attendance. When I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. Adriana. Present. Very good. So this is Adriana present. Carlos. Uh, Carlos Martinez. Okay. Present. Uh, tengo Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, y de ahí tengo Carlos. So you are okay. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, thank you. Cla Claudia. Present. Excellent. Toribel. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Very good. Herbert. Present. Awesome. Irma. Present. Very good. Isabo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Guevara. Is Jacqueline Guevara present or absent? Okay, absent. Jacqueline Cermello. Present teacher. All right, Jacqueline Cermello. Juan Present. Cubillas. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Cubillas. Juan Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Maravilla. Carla. ¿Quién se lo vendo, dice? No, que me lo dé con este. Con este, okay. Dorivel, Dorivel, can you put your microphone Gracias. in silence, please? Dorivel, thank you. Okay, guys, mantengamos los micrófonos en silencio, please. Thank you. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Present. <laughs> Esmeralda, Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Sí, la tengo como present. Está present. Ahorita solamente tengo okay. absent a Jacqueline Guevara. De ahí todos están present. Jacqueline Guevara. All right. Next is Carla. Present, teacher. Carla is present. Good job, Carla. Eh, Leana. Present, teacher. Hi. Thank you, Leana. Good job. Luis. Luis. Hola, hola. Present. Good job, Luis. Marco. Present, teacher. Thank you, Marco. Marco Ramirez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Maria. Present, 
Maria. Absent. Present. Oh, present. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Maria. Marina. Marina. Present teacher. All right, Marina. Eh, Noemi. Present. Excellent. Raul. Present teacher. Good job. Rene. Present teacher. Excellent. Roberto. Roberto. Absent. Present teacher. Oh, Roberto is present. Thank you, Roberto. Ruth. Here, teacher. Excellent. Ruth. Saul. Present teacher. Very good. And Wendy. I am here, teacher. Yes. All right. So only absent one person, Jacqueline Guevara, y allí todos estamos present. Very good. Thank you. Good attendance. I like that. I like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, move forward. For the next activity, what I would like for us to do is we're going to go ahead and move to the following section on the platform. So when I call your name, I mean, when you see the activity, we're going to look at it. Let's look at a time to remember. A time to remember. Using was and were. Using was and were in the past tense. Can everybody hear? Talk about Can everybody the past here? using regular and irregular. Yes, yes. Additionally, yes. you'll be able to ask yes. and answer questions yes. in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements either positive or negative as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago and we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past such as I didn't speak English then. Finally what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past and the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past either with the verb to be as you can see is slightly different and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject and then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I had to change that to the past. For most verbs, 
we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't, okay? And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions, and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with, did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There we go. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. 
And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Hi everyone. By the end of this class you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discuss how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago, and we're all... Okay, guys, for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to ask and answer questions about the past, about things in your life. For example, for example... What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Where did you go on your last vacation what did you eat last night did you go to church yesterday Repeat, please. What did you do last weekend? What did you do, what did you do, you do last weekend? Where did you go on your vacation? Where did you go on your last vacation? What did you eat last night? What did you eat last night? Did you go to church yesterday? Did you go to church yesterday? Okay. I would like for two volunteers, two volunteers, ask and respond to the questions. Two volunteers, ask and respond to the questions. Teacher. Eh, puede compartir las preguntas al WhatsApp. Yes, ya las compartí. Por favor, gracias. Yes. All right, Marco and Wendy. Marco, ask the questions. Wendy, respond. Okay. The moment. Okay. Okay, Wendy. What did you do last weekend? I did a cook for my family every day. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay. Where did you go on your last vacation? Um, I went. I did go. Um, to the beach. Nice. 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 What did you eat last night? 
I I I I did it. Um, no, it sería I ate. I ate a uh, with friends. Very good. All right, beans, we're gonna stop beans, right there. Beans, beans, beans. with bread. Very good. Beans with bread. Delicious beans with bread. Cheese and cream and avocado. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. We're going to go ahead and stop right here. Please continue working on the platform, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Hey, okay, teacher. Take night. care. See you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 B